Um, yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's scary, it's terrifying. Yeah, it's, it's a kind of pressure to my lungs. I'm not seeing the light, let's say. I think I'm scared in a way that I don't understand. Too much noise, too much, too much information. Right now it's like a bomb that it's about to explode. It feels like your eyes are open, but you can't see anything. Do I think the world is going to end? I mean, maybe, but like, I can't worry about that, you know? I wouldn't call it nothing. It's really like stillness. It's, it's like tapping into the feelings that are inside you that you usually don't sit with. The feelings that are inside you that you usually don't sit with. My mom passed away two years ago, and so there's just like a lot that I lived in the last two years. I would find it difficult to not feel like I was burdening someone and I wasn't being the strong man that I should be who's dealing with his own shit. In the middle of my childhood to lose my dad, like it had, it, it was a new reality that I'd have to swallow. I don't think I've ever felt so isolated in my life, like, I don't feel like I could be completely vulnerable with some of the friends I have. There isn't the culture to like talk about how you feel as a young man. It's not a thing. And I certainly felt alienated growing up by it. There's this feeling of, uh, of loneliness. It feels like you're in a room where it's all mirrors and you have nowhere to look but yourself. I think loneliness is a, is a feeling we all carry and a lot of the times we, we try to mask it. What I want is to be able to share those, those emotions. I mean, that was the first step. Like I just needed to open the floodgates and like finally tell someone. And I'm sure that would have been pretty shocking for my parents to hear. Physicality. Yeah, as you said, whether that be romantic or not, it's, yeah, you forget how important that is. Like, it's, it's fighting for its way out. Look them in the eyes. It was a rebirth. Coming back to life in a different way. All the negative thoughts. I tried to just pull them out. <laughs> and I want to make a big party and then... The earth is still spinning, we're still blasting through space. We could be doing nothing, but there's still a lot going on. <laughs> I, I don't even know. I don't even know what the other end looks like, but hopefully there is another end. <laughs> Feeling like I was dying <laughs> and then having survived is the ultimate reassuring factor, you know? It's like I'm still here and I actually feel stronger, so yeah, it's gonna be okay. <laughs>